what is up my dudes first thing this morning i got a text from a lady uh who thought she possibly had a rattlesnake in her yard um luckily i had the day off work so i was able to get a picture from her run over there and grab it um i always try to film these things for you guys because i know it's really cool for you guys to see i know you guys love seeing the rattlesnakes especially but uh in this scenario it was in a junk pile and I was more concerned about the snake not getting away than filming it. And it was in a tight area and I didn't want to put the lady out because sometimes I'll have the customer or the, the person with the snake problem, will have them film for me. Uh, but I didn't want to put her in that situation having to be in close quarters with the snake. Um, so, you know, when you're working with junk, I was it was like on a hillside, piles of junk everywhere. And I didn't want to find the snake and have it escape off the hillside into the brush or go down a gopher hole before I could grab it. So my main focus was just to get the snake. So I didn't film it for you. She actually filmed a little bit on her phone, but it's broken up. I'll throw it in the video so you guys can see it. Oh my gosh. So I gotta try to get two at once before one of them gets away. So yeah, there's two right here. Oh. Yeah. Okay, there's two of them. I bet you there's more under that other board. But the main thing is I got the snake. But the coolest part is I got two snakes. So um, it, was a, it was a cool morning. It was only 60 degrees. The video she sent me, you could see the snakes, but just a, uh, a bend in its body, like coming out from underneath the board. Um, which you'll see in the video. Holy shit. So I could tell the snake was going to come out from under the board get some sun it realized it wasn't a sunny morning so it turned to go back under the board and that's when she happened to see it um and that's the video she sent me uh then so i arrive i tell her i'm like hey it's 60 degrees there's lots of escape route options for the snake due to the pile we might find multiple snakes i really highly encourage you to get this stuff out of here um so you don't have these snakes returning um and that there's a high likelihood that the snake might escape. But since it was only 60 degrees, I told her, hey, they're probably gonna be kind of lethargic and I should be able to catch them pretty easy. And that turned out to be the case. So one of these is actually really cool. They're both fairly small Southern Pacific rattlesnakes. One of them is pretty feisty, the larger one. And then one of them seems a bit mellower, but it's a really cool color. So I'm excited to show you guys that one. I'll show you the feisty bigger one first. Okay, so this is the larger of the two. It's a really nice dark, almost black rattlesnake. Looks really cool, looks a lot like a Serb. Um, if you're familiar with a Serb, it is a Arizona black rattlesnake. Um, as you can tell, he is very defensive, which is typical for a Southern Pacific. They are notoriously defensive rattlesnakes. As you can see, he is just postured, ready to kill. Um, He's hiding his rattle from us right now, but I'll give you a top down view, you can probably see it better.
Okay, so a little bit of information about Southern Pacific rattlesnakes. This is the most common rattlesnake in Southern California. They have a highly toxic venom. A lot of people claim it's neurotoxic and hematoxic, meaning it can attack your nervous system and it can completely, you know, it's necrotic. It can rot your, rot your flesh. It can coagulate your blood. It can uh, really deliver a really nasty bite. This is the rattlesnake that's responsible for the most snake bites in Southern California. And it's also, in my opinion, the deadliest of all the um, rattlesnakes in Southern California just because they're so common and they're so defensive. Uh, and they got the venom to match the attitude. Now the Mojave Green, uh, Mojave Rattlesnake, Cortalis cutulatus is a much more potent venom, especially if it has the Mojave toxin compared to this guy, but they're just not as common and they're typically not as defensive, at least the ones I've encountered. Um, but with that being said, I'm gonna throw this guy back in the bucket and pull the other one out. The other one so far has been a lot chiller and uh, is a lot prettier. So let me pull that guy out and do a swap a real quick. <laughs> Alright, he's still in striking position. We'll just put him back in the bucket and hope that he shuts up. <laughs> So I'm going to take you off the tripod again and get you some more close-up shots like I did of the other one so you can just see the color and the beauty of this one. It's such a cool looking Southern Pacific. I do really like the black ones like that one in the bucket, but uh, this one's just unique. I haven't really, I usually see they're usually grayish, greenish, brownish, black is pretty common. Uh, this one's very copper, bronze, and, the, and and yellow, which is just really cool. But he is not going to get in that defensive position that the other guy was in, I don't think. So we'll see. See, look at that. As soon as I stopped messing with him, he stopped rattling. So this one is clearly much less defensive than the other one. You can hear the other one in the bucket still rattling. Lighting is not great to show off its color. Oh, the other one finally stopped rattling. So contrary to popular belief, a lot of people believe the myth that each rattle, each segment of the rattle signifies one year of growth, but that's not true. Each button on the rattle, each segment on the rattle indicates one time that the snake is shed. They shed anywhere between three and six times, maybe even more a year depending on how fast they're growing, how warm their climate is, how much they're eating. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see that very last one at the tip, how it comes to a triangular little button. So that was the one it was born with. So this thing has never broken its rattle. It's never lost its rattle. So this is a fully intact rattle. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this thing has shed eight times. It's probably two years old. 
Now, if it didn't have that triangular button on the end, then that would mean that its rattle has broken off at some point, and now you don't know how many times it has shed. Um, they do break throughout their life if they get smacked on a rock or a log or dropped or fall off a rock, what have you, it's going to break its rattle off. So, yeah, fun fact. Alright guys, I think the snakes have had enough of me. I'm going to go relocate them now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. If you did, there's it's, summer's just now starting. So, actually spring's just now starting. We're about to get into summer. So, I'm going to be able to make a lot more of these videos. So, um, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff down below. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace!